I once bought early Hypex class D amplifiers and found them to sound colored in the mid range. Not anymore they say and they lent me a set of Hypex NC400s to try. The NC400s come in kit form, not that you have to mount components on the PCB but more like an assembly job. You have to screw in two fully assembled PCBs, the amp module and the power supply, connect some cables to it and screw, solder and clamp them to connectors on the rear. You find a video on YouTube showing the assembly when you click on the link in the top right corner. The link is also in the notes below this video on YouTube. The assembly is easy and soon you have two very nice looking mono power amps. They each measure 28 by 20.5 by 8 cm and are made of sturdy black anodized aluminum. The front only contains a blue white LED to indicate the power is switched on. This LED can be dimmed or switched off altogether, something all equipment should have when using blue LEDs. Once built the rear has one balanced input on XLR, a set of proper speaker binding posts and an IEC power input with fuse holder and a power switch. As usual you can skip the tech by jumping to the timecode in the top left corner. Ok, let's first talk about class D and the misunderstanding that class D is all about digital amplifiers. Class D amplifiers are a special kind of analog amplifiers that use pulse width modulation or pulse density modulation techniques. The first works by switching on a voltage for a variable time. The longer the voltage is on, the more positive the output becomes. Pulse density works almost identical by switching on more or less short voltage pulses. These are very efficient techniques since there is hardly any current flowing so there is no heat building up. It is a very common technology nowadays and for instance switching power supplies are based on the same principle. To explain it in a metaphor, if you want to drive a nail into the wall, you could do that by applying a very high force that pushes the nail into the wall. But you would need a very powerful device that needs to be secured firmly. You could also use short pulses of kinetic energy as the ones stored in a hammer when you slam it on the nail. Come to think of it, a combustion engine like the one in your car does the same. In a four cylinder engine there is a short combustion every half revolution. The mass of the flywheel evens out those short bursts into a constant rotating force. It's about the same with class D. The short pulses are dampened by the electronic equivalent of a flywheel, a low pass filter. One of the problems that occur when designing a class D amp is that the output filter is normally influenced by the electrical properties of the speakers which are far from constant. It is one of the problems design genius Bruno Putzeis has solved and there are many others that make the NC400s for what they are, including a clever switching power supply that proves that switching power supplies can sound very good when designed well. I didn't fully measure the NC400 since measuring class D requires special filters that I don't have. Those things I could check gave no reason to doubt the other specs by Hypex. The amps can produce up to 200 watts in 8 ohms, 400 watts in 4 ohms and 580 watts in 2 ohms. Often amplifiers will die when you connect it to a 2 ohm load. I'm always interested in the current an amp can provide. The NC400 is protected at 24 amps. All in all, you're not likely to go to find a speaker that can't be driven by the NC400s. Another remarkable fact, the switching power supply can be connected to any mains voltage up to even 264 volts, which isn't likely to happen, and automatically switches to the correct settings for optimal efficiency. Typical working voltages are of course 230 and 110 volts, but even at 180 and 90 volts they should run properly. I use the Arcam AVR600 in absolute analog mode 
and the Marantz Pearl Ki as preamps. The Court Hugo, dr driven by the Sonora Micro Rendu and Rune as a player, and the Audiophysics Scorpio speakers as speakers. The first day the sound was uninspired, badly timed, glassy, unmusical and really terrible. Not in the way the old UCD 400s were, but just like many amp sound when they're playing for the first time. It took a, a few days to have it bloom a bit, improving bit by bit every day. Only after two full weeks there was no further improvement. The Scorpio speakers aren't difficult to drive. They are normally driven by a 2 times 13 watt modified audio note Soro SE tube amp. It's therefore no surprise that the low end, taken care of by two times two opposite from each other mounted 18 cm woofers, became more controlled using the e Hypex amps. The mids and the highs were less refined than those from the audio note, which is no surprise given the roughly 6000 euros price including the months. Comparing it to the Mar Marantz KI Pearl Lite that as an integrated amp was 1200 euros, again brought the impressive low end control of the Hypex to the attention, while I would rate the mids and the highs at a slightly higher quality, although more forward. That places the NC400 somewhere between my set 2 and set 1, somewhat closer to set 2. By offering these amps unassembled the price could be kept low, 650 euros excluding VAT, which means about 770 euros including VAT in many European countries. That really is a very attractive price for a pair of 200 watt in 8 ohm amplifiers of this quality. The assembly only takes a few hours or less, but make no mistakes since you are not allowed to open them again according to the label on the back. Okay, that was cheap too. To be serious, the NC400s have proven to me that Class D amps can really sound musically and have high end aspirations. Whether that goes for all Class D amps I can't say yet. But if you want to stay informed, follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account or take a subscription to this channel. You can also post questions there, but please view my questions video first. See the link in the top right corner. You'll find more information below this video in YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.